stepped up slightly in weight, and I've seen photos of him. He's looking immensely in shape. Yeah, yeah, he's looking mean. He's looking like the old Nabil Ayuli we've seen. So let's see how he does with, with MMA gloves, forearms, MMA gloves. This is an exciting fight. Yeah, 100%. As I say, it's a rematch. They met in 2019 in the kickboxing, under kickboxing rules, sorry. But look at that focus in his eye. First thought is, is it even going to reach the ground? You know, they're yeah. both strong stand-up fighters. Yeah. Are they going to have a trade-off standing up? Heavy hitters, heavy kickers. Okay, guys, listen, three rounds of five minutes, yeah? Elbow is allowed, yes? You know the rules? Any questions? No questions. Let's touch gloves if you want. Let's Big go. Corner. No, no touch touching gloves. gloves. <laughs> yeah, excited for this one. Let's see if we go to the ground, how the game plans are. Yeah. I don't know how many time uh, Kyle spent on the ground and doing wrestling, so... Yeah, let's see. Let's see what happens. He said last time he gave way too much respect to Nabil. He's going in with nothing against him, but fight, fighting him, no respect. Yeah. He's going in to knock him immediately out. see the distance, the stance of Nabil, very different from his kickboxing. Oh, lovely jab. Yeah. Fast. Yo, good, good block from Nabil. Oh, going in with the left hook right straight. Yeah, he's picking his shots immediately. You see him, at, you see that he's adapted. He's yeah, he's thinking and he adapted to MMA because it's a different. Oh, oh very nice one. And going for the kill immediately. Let's see if he. This is going to not last. Yeah, oh. There we go. Wow, he didn't reach the floor. That's it. Yeah, he, it reached the floor, but then it was the end. <laughs> he is living Tyson, isn't he? Nice one. How long was that? 45 seconds, something like that? 40 seconds? 40, 45 seconds. Nice. 40 seconds. You know, this has been pent up in him. He's meant to get in the cage the other week. It didn't happen. Yeah. Carried on training. Like, he, he's a monster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very nice. Very nice win. And actually, he's a very nice person as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. he is. He is. We lovely. Again, we've had him on World Combat Sports Talk Show many times. Very respectful fighter. Yeah. And he's got a really big future. Yeah, 100%. Still young, how young? How old is he? 23, 24, yeah, something he, like that? You know, he's only he's Oop, young. <laughs> let's check, let's check. <laughs> Make sure I get it right. 22 years 22, of age. 22, wow. And we are going to see him later on in the year in the ECU. Boom, documentary. That was the first jab. You could just see, he threw his jab, he was so sharp. Boom, that was the right straight that caught him the first time. He immediately went in for the kill and then. There's another one coming, boom. Strong yeah. shots following up. Very strong. That was it. Boom, yeah, it was the counter. A right hook over the top, boom. Yeah, heavy, heavy shots. Yeah, boom, there it is. Straight on the chin. I think it was 45 seconds. Yeah, before. something like that. Amazing. He is really a pure talent yeah that's a clean tko and it's uh, unfortunately we didn't get to see carl todd any performance really from him but uh no i just take the house anyone ladies standing and against him big applause for these two athletes kyle todd and uh, nabil, nabil harayuli and after 42 seconds in the first round uh, the winner by technical knockout the man in the red corner nabil harayuli Well, there we go, 42 seconds in his MMA pro debut fight. And uh, I'm excited to see his future. Respectful as ever, he's just saying what a nice guy he is, along with his brothers in his corner. We are going to see a lot more of him in the future. Uh, the Siam Jimmy came over and trained in Holland for this, Kyle. So take Nabil Haruli very, very seriously indeed because this is not a walk in the park for either boxer. Three three-minute rounds of infusion rules, and ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be a scorcher, this one, and you are spoiled. I'll tell you that, the now and the future of kickboxing. Blah, blah, blah. It's going to be a scorcher. Black and gold is for Nabil Tyson Haruli. Black, red and white is for Kyle the Killer Todd. Both got dangerous names. I know. Like... If, if Carl's been working combinations, Dutch saw as well, and he brings his same game tonight, this is going to be explosive. It is. Round one then. 
Left hip starts from Nabil. Coach Todd looks big as well, you know. He does. Nabil are lucky enough for the big shots, but Carl is quite clued up. Okay, this is the ha-ha ball. I'm going to open it. Switch up their game plan a bit with them. Nice tight push kick there from these two. They've done the homework on each other. Tony's a student of the game. Nabil's brothers all live the game. It's a... Uh... Good low kick. Wide stance from... Still took it well, though. Took them shots well. Good left hook to the body. Kyle. Do you know the difference is, JK? Speed. It feels that little bit quicker. He's strong as well, though. Yes, he is. Inside out. Bill starting to stand his ground in there. Keeping his hand up with the right hand, stopping that left hook of Nabil, who really is going to have to think. The kid has got good weapons, as nice push kick. He has got good weapons, but he doesn't use them. He gets carried away with himself, which is exciting for fans. But longevity, Julie, it is, uh, it is difficult. Scoring big with body kicks. Oh, oh right good right here. hook. Straight off, right hand slant. He's got dynamite in his hands, Nabil. He's really shipping punishment though, Todd, you know, he's taking these shots well. He's taking them, but he's got to come back with something. Yes, he has. It's the speed, Julie, that's the difference. He needs to start chopping out the legs because Nabil standing very strong on them, very wide stance. Halfway through this first exciting round as well. Yeah, these guys live and breathe the sport. Yeah, they do, both of them. And they're both nice kids outside the ring. Needs to come back with something. It's the speed of Nabil that's the difference. Do you know what, though, Julie, as well? You know, it shows holes in games as well. You know, even at this stage, what Nabil will have to do in the future if he wants to mix it with the big boys, you know? For sure. I just feel like when Nabil does take his foot off the gas, Cole should attack him and he's letting him have all of his own way. He really seems to be running out of ideas, Julie. Yeah. He does, but his ideas are working at the moment. Yeah, I agree. But still, got to be able to think your way around it, but he's only the first round. And you know what? We've got to forgive him as well. It's only a kid. 19 years of age and 21 when years of age. the first round. Respectively, it took a bit of a shellacking. You give that round to Nabil for the work and for the landing. But like I said, You've got, to have, you've got to be cerebral in, in, in the way that when you fight, you've got to be able to use your brain under pressure. You've got to be able to think your way and be more like a, an artistic approach to the, to the fight. But Nabil looks to me that little bit too sharp at the moment. Yeah, a little bit too sharp, a little bit too powerful. But that's what I'm saying. Carl is letting him have his own way. He's got to put the pressure on him. As soon as he stands back, don't let him have that rest up. With round number two. He's got to keep that right hand up. You know, these rounds go by so fast as well, he's got to get a, a round under his belt. When he was in Thailand with Nabil, I didn't know he's a can kick, he's a good kicker. And um, he's starting to use them body kicks now, and adding more to his armory, which I like. When Carl's landing the push kick, he's not following up with anything. That's what I'm missing. Better. It's got to be more than one shot return. It's always a name like Tyson as well. You, you feel like you, when you're young, you have to live up to that name as well, Jules. And, uh, you know, because of the crash bang wallop sort of approach. But he has got a lot of a good skill set and he's showing it here, really. Yeah. As, we, really as we see him mature, we see more of that. Good block there from Kyle Todd. Comes back with his own low kick. Reddening on the thigh of Nabil. Overhand, took them well. He's got a good chin, this Geordie kid. Got to keep covered, though. Yes. He's got to start chopping away at the bill. Get on those legs. Finish on the leg kick every time. 
combinations are winning from the bill at the moment. Yeah, he's got no answer for that push kick as well, Kyle. He's got to catch it, deflect it. Big stage for him to be on as well, but Nabil, strong, persistent. He's showing patience as well, JK. Good left hook to the body from Nabil. Cole Todd has to step out, get back into the centre of the He's ring. starting to feel these body shots now. So. Yep. Reddening on the side of his ribs. You can tell the way he's holding his arms as well. Pulling them in to protect himself. Last minute. Nice body kick, that was heavy. Let's see if it opens up again. Catching him Throwing again with the left hook. Just a strong, isn't he? This little bull like fighter. He's a handful for sure. You know, he's starting to use these tricks now. In the clinch, yes. Catch from Todd. He's got a counter that, though. Yeah, he's not doing anything with that. Look at the angles left, right, left. He's starting to think now, Julian. This is what I was saying about being cerebral in there. He's starting to use his intelligence instead of his brute force. You know, there is people out there, you hit them with hammers and they're not going to go down. And you've got to meet them in your career. And Kyle Todd looks like he's one of them who's very tough indeed. Another round for Nabil. When the end of the second round. He strolls back to the red corner. Yeah, but <laughs> casually. Yeah, but you know, this is a good learning fight for uh, Haruli and, uh, and a test for to Kyle Todd. He's fighting on a stage that. You know, it is a big one for anyone. Here's a right hand just bounced off the rock arching. And he's showing toughness, isn't he, Jake? Oh, for sure. We're not questioning his toughness, no. For sure, for sure not. And that's what we say when we say that he's been training in Holland. I said, I hope he had been doing combinations. Like, I, I feel from England, we're much more Muay Thai, so we do Muay Thai style. Yeah, I mean, you know, in, in Tony's credit, they are, they are a predominantly a kickboxing gym, but, you know, it's when someone's a little bit quicker than you, they make you look slow. It might not necessarily be that way. One second's out. I, I get what you what mean. Let me he doesn't seem to be able to get yeah. combination. I'll go to round number three then. And Haruli rather than the leg. And Todd needs meets. to be first. He does. Oh. See what happens is, Julie, because he's such a puncher, you glue your hands to your head. You forget about your body, you forget that you can kick as well, and that's what's happened in this case. Yeah. And he's so worried about the... When you bring your hands up higher, you're giving yes. yourself a, a bigger exactly. target. You make yourself into a bit like a bag, in a way, you know? Good low kick, but the hand speed. Oh, Nabil is coming back a lot faster. He fought smart here, Nabil, especially the second and the third round. Thought he fought smart. You know, as you said, rightfully so. Carl Todd isn't a pushover. No, that was a nice right hand from Carl Todd as well. Push kit was nice. Right hand just over the top from Nabil. Leg kick. I'll tell you one thing about. Uh, I'll tell you something about Haruli though, Julie, that he has got to watch for. He has got to start blocking low kicks because if he gets a heavy kick here, then Kyle, especially uh, the ties that we we have in Infusion as well, when he comes up later on, he's going to suffer, you know. Yeah. Well, this is the thing. He does stand very wide because he he builds up the power yes, in his boxing, so he is open for leg kicks. But at the same time, if you throw in a leg kick and taking a right hand, you're going to go flying. You've got to be complete. But he's fought well for me. Smart. Kyle Todd, bags of heart, great chin. But he's just been out technique, really. Out sped. Out worked, I would say. Yeah, exactly. J just exactly the things, you know, that he's not been, he's not been hurt. Todd, no. I don't believe. No, no. 
Just too much speed, too much combinations. Good right hand again from Nabil. Return with the body kick from Kyle. Just getting tagged. Too much. That was a good push kick. He uses that well when he does throw it. Got to give credit to the, the kid from Blythe, the Millennium Jim, who's come forward and really had a go. Spinning back kick to no avail, but Nabriel has fought smart tonight. I've been impressed. Well, coming up to the last few seconds now, last 10. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's a foregone conclusion, really, isn't it? Uh, Nabil has just outworked. Todd. We're at the end of the third round. Well, there and we go, a nice fight. You know, you know what, listen, these variables in that fight, you know, to, to take home with them both and to learn for Tony and his team to learn that you know he's on the big stage now I'm sure they'll get another opportunity to be able to throw combinations of France quicker and, and try and get rid of that, that nervous tension that may may surround them he knows he hasn't got it you can tell by uh, his face well, first of all ladies and gentlemen a big and big applause for these two fighters Kyle Todd when Nabil Haryuli went off for three rounds of three minutes. We've counted the points and we have a unanimous decision in favor of the man in the red corner, Nabil Haryuli. You now all you can do is try your best. And if you do that, you can go on with your head held high and I'm sure that Kyle Todd can at a good performance